been three months since I played this Roblox simulator and things have changed so much so that I barely even know how to play anymore despite making videos on the game for months. Things were going well until one faithful day when I lost everything. Oh my god, I just made a huge mistake. I, I, oh no, I just, I just did something so dumb. Oh my god. With the click of a button, I accidentally deleted all of the hard work and over 250,000 Robux of pets. That was it for me. Pet Simulator 99 release, and then I cut my losses. But what if I told you that actually wasn't the end of the story? Because what if I told you we back, baby? That's right, back in the game after three months have gone by. And the question we're going to find ourselves answering by the end of this video is if you're gone for three months, can you even catch up again? Also, I should probably um, talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the pets? Because as you can see, these are a certain amount of pets that at the end of the last video I made on this game was me deleting them. How do I have them back in my inventory? Was the whole thing a lie? Did I actually not delete them? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> you see, I was done with this game, but just when I thought it was all over for me, something happened. The creator of the game, Jay, saw my plea saying that I deleted all of my pets, 3,500 of them, 45 that were best friends, seven and eight. All the countless Robux, everything gone. Is there a way to undo it or am I just out of luck? And he reached out, said, just saw your ping. Is there a chance you have a video of the pet? And luckily, yeah, I did. I recorded it happening. So I sent him the video and he sent me the pets. So now it's basically just as if I never left. I have everything that I had before that infamous moment where I lost everything. But the question now is three months have gone by and is it even the same game anymore? And, and the wait. <laughs> The answer is no. What is this? You used to leave the school and go straight to the space gym. Oh my gosh. Defeat the cyber cop to unlock garden. Bro, I don't even know what a cyber cop is. And there's like this little in-between transition, which I guess makes sense. Cause like it never made sense why you just immediately went from a school to a space gym. What is this? No way. You walk in here. Oh my God. This is so cool. This game is definitely changed quite a bit. But you're at least still the same. I did see the Easter event. Played it in the hunt. I beat it. Not on not on this account, though. And apparently there's also a hunt world as well, which means that there's basically two events going on at the same time. When I last played this game, we were about to blast off into space with a big red rocket before I uh, clearly lost everything. And the question is now, can we finally go see what's next? Also, is there like a transition from escaping this gym? Uh, no, there's not. <laughs> All right. Is is there anything new here? There's a steampunk trader. What do you do? Common cogs. Wait, what are the what are cogs? Okay, you can get pets by using cogs. It looks like the best pet here is a times 500. My best pet is a 302 million. So until I find a better pet than that, I don't want it. Nuclear bunker. Never made sense why you leave from this little dock area to basically a sewer. I like the first transition. I wish you would do it for the rest of the parts. Here's also a green cogs trader. Do you have better items? You do, but they're still not good. Moving on. Anything else changed in here? Nope. It's all the same. Let's escape the bunker to, I believe, the dino world, where again, hey, this is exactly the same. There is nothing new about this. You still as ugly as ever, bro. And you go from the dino world to the celestial area or the void and you get what? Wait, this isn't the same at all. Dude, last time I was in here, it looked like this. I would say this is a completely different area altogether, except for the fact when you come back here, I've beat you, I've beat you, I've beat you, and I've definitely beat you. Why is it so different? Also, here's the red cog trader where, okay, things are getting a little bit better. We got a hatch dragon here for 500 Robux. These are okay, but they're still, even a baby hatched all the way to a Goliath is still not going to be in the 300 million. So yeah, bro, I think I'm still more powerful than what any of these guys have to offer. With that, let's go to the last area I know, the Space Center. Oh boy. Yeah, this is this is where I ended off. I stood right here in this corner and cried miserably for five hours of everything that I had just lost. Dr. Propulsion here made fun of me, but I'm back again and I'm ready to take you out. It says I have to beat him and then get 150 OC wins. Which, uh, I have 
3.3 in. That's octillion, by the way, and this is no nillion, non-nillion, something like that. So I definitely have enough to go into the rocket, which uh, actually isn't even a rocket anymore. What the heck? What's the next area? Returning to the Roman Empire. Bro, that thing's a time machine. There should be gladiators up in here or something. Not this divine trainer. How powerful are you? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is where we start. The question is, though, is that the guy? Is that the guy I have to beat? What is this? Forging arms gives you a 10% strength boost. Oh, no, I need more arms. I only have one. And this isn't even the last area. Not only am I not able to beat the best boss in the game, I'm not even able to beat the best boss in this world. God, dude, I'm way behind. Luckily, there is one thing that this game is known for. This game is very, very painful to win. But I will say things are a little cheaper. This big bunny Dominus thing, which is the best pet in the game, when these used to come out, they were almost 18,000 Robux. Now it's just like 13,000, which um, I've got, but I, I'm not happy about it. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and buy it and let's get rid of this wheat guy and put on this new guy. He's already worth 278 million. There he is. He's all the way in the back, bro. He looks so tiny. But what is the new best pet? And I think I know the answer to that question. If I remember correctly, the last time I played this game, the seasonal events were where you got your really, really good pets, including this guy down here where it says complete the season pass 10 times to get a huge starry boss. And it's worth <laughs> That's right. That's what we need. There's this tiki egg here that I could unlock and auto hatch and stuff. But the season six is what I'm going to need to do. I need to lock all 30 areas, 10 times, 300 ranks, which is going to be a grind. Unless, of course, you have Robux. In which case, then you can just unlock all like this. Claim all these. Oh, and then apparently I also have to buy the premium pack. Or else I only get the first track here. Luckily, I only have to do this once. And it's over half off. Let's go ahead and buy this. Let's get all these items here. Let's not try to go after these. Let's instead go after this big boy here. Now we can claim all of these guys right here. And then the last two, the Blueberry Hydra and the Dewdrop Dragon are now mine. The only problem is I don't know what this guy is. I want him. That's clearly the new guy in the game to get. Just gonna need all these potions to work better. We've completed it once. Now I just gotta do it nine more times. Montage, baby. Yep, saw this coming. <laughs> 11,000 should be enough to uh, make sure you use star code night fox when buying robux it forces roblox to give five percent of what they made off of you give it to the little guys like me i know i'm not little but i spend a lot of robux and i just appreciate it back to claiming Way to having a 1.5 billion huge starry boss. The question is though, how much of Marek is my inventory? Oh my god, I can only hold 395 and I'm all the way up to 4200. This is the reason I actually lost all my pets, is because I was trying to go through and mass delete a whole bunch of these guys. And how it happened that I deleted all of my really good pets is I swear the word moose and then select it all. Oh my God. I think I made another mistake. I did. I made another mistake. No! I did something really dumb again. I didn't need them to be big. I just wanted them to be babies. I went from having a full team of best friends, sevens and eights to now having 36. Oh, why did I do that? Let this be a lesson to you though. Definitely lock your pets if you haven't already. If you don't want them changed at all, Lock the freaking pets. Okay, I think I can now equip the better pets. What pets did it give me? It gave me this 
180 million? What? Dude, that's actually crazy. What is this rainbow rooster? It's not a best friend seven though. So like, I don't want it. I only want to equip the best friend sevens and eights. All right, I've locked all of my best pets. Every single one of them has best friend seven or best friend eight, meaning they're going to be more powerful than the best pet I have in the game at this 302 million. Oh my gosh, dude. I have to get rid of all of these pets. It looks like they have fixed it though. So now when I search up boulder bear, it only selects the boulder bear and not everything else, which means I'm fine deleting these 842 pets. I'm gonna do the same thing for the moose. 182 of them, delete them. And now things are starting to look a little bit better. I've got a bunch of these blossom bunnies that I don't need, as well as some like unicorns, but some of them got some luck boosts on them, which I promise you we're gonna need a little bit later. On top of that, I can type in the word lucky and actually get every pet that has the luck boost on them, which is something I complained about for months. I'm so glad to see that part being a little bit better. With that, we got half the passes done. Let's do the other half. With the click of this button, I should get this guy right here. But before we do that, I want to get a base of like how strong I actually am right now. I'm getting 8.9 Wintillion strength every time I do this. Let's do this last season. We got the huge starry boss. Let's go ahead and unlock all these items. And let's take a look at it. Starry boss. Oh, it's so big. Can't even see it in the little thing. Oh my God, 1.5 billion. It does not have a best friend enchant on it though, which means that it won't always be the best pets unless I could find a way to get that enchant put on it. Eight, look how big it is. Oh my God, it's massive. It was eight quintillion before. It is now 52. We can also throw on our better arms. In fact, we can actually make our buff arm even stronger by making it golden. Which uh, actually doesn't make it golden and I feel lied to. All right, I now have my team and the best arm. Let's go ahead and see exactly how much it does for us. Now we're all the way up to 55. But is that the best way to go? Is this perhaps the better option? No, it only gives us 6.6. .6. It is faster, but not that fast. This gives us 15.6. It's still not faster. So what we're gonna do now is auto train our biceps, come back in a few hours and then take out this guy. Your days are numbered, little dude. It's been two hours and I am now at one octillion, which means I am basically strong enough. This says 1.1 is needed, but bruh, I'm a gamer and gamers don't need all that. <laughs> it's super close. Ah! And it is done. We have done it. We've officially beat the guy that we need to beat. The only thing is I need 7.5 D win, which is uh, way less than what I actually have. So this is the point where teams come into play. Right now I've got my OP team. I'm gonna replace it with my current pets. We're gonna unequip all, and then we're gonna type in winner and make a whole new team. I now have a full team of winner, winner fours and winner, winner fives, which should definitely help me get some more wins. Let's find out. 62.8. All right, it's been a, yeah, it's been a little bit more than a few hours. I'm not gonna lie. I went and get other things and now I came back to 121 uh, Ds. We are finally ready. This dude is done. He is no longer divine. We can now escape the Roman empire. Where we go next? Well, let's find out together. Here we go. We are now in, oh God, it's the underworld. <laughs> no. Oh God, I've been, I've been a bad guy. I've defeated too many people. I have confirmed it is the new biggest boss in the game. You have to have 10.4 octillion strength. I only have one. Oh God, this is the desk agent. I can't even beat the receptionist. <laughs> well, we've got a work cut out for us. I have finally went through and got rid of a whole bunch of pets. I now have just the teams. I've got a win team, an OP team, which is my strength training team. When I'm hatching eggs, I go my lucky team. And then these two are only Halloween only. I don't know if I'm going to be playing this game then, but hey, man, I just couldn't get rid of it. I could potentially see myself getting one of these better pets, but I don't think they're going to be better than my best pet in the game right now. Let's do three of these eggs. I got epic leeches, which is I only have a 1% to get a fox. Let's try it one more time. I got one! 
<laughs> I'm stopping there. That fiery fox is worth 32 million. Bruh. But I do have something else. This up here. And I can just spin this 150 times, get 150 different rewards, and then just keep going. I have now spun every ticket that I have. And out of all of that, I still didn't get the glitch dragon. Bro, those odds are insane. <laughs> but what I did get is 130,000 tickets. Which means I can buy this right here. Let's trade for it. It's done. I can also trade for one of these. And on top of that, I now have that one trillion. I, dude, I don't even know what number this is, but it's a lot. And these wares right here allow me to do fun things. Okay, what if I did this guy, the starry boss? He has the demon crown. The blood horns, they go to the bunny dominus. Makes sense to me. Training here gives us 42.9 quintillion on the hand strength and 148 on the barbells. All right, so we are again back to the law long grind where I've got to just train forever to be able to beat these guys here. But I kind of want to see something. The first thing I want to see is where the heck is this cyber cop guy? Wait, this can't be him. That doesn't look anything like the little thing. I could beat him in like two seconds. There. That was it. I can open a greenhouse for Bobux. And then I can plant these seeds that I didn't know what I was supposed to do with. There's apparently fishing. <laughs> I gotta admit, I don't understand what I'm doing. We got the farmer's market. You can upgrade your snacks, which then I can use to like feed things. Let's feed them two. My pet just ate two full sharks, bro. We'll feed him these really good apples. Now he's to a 79. I'm just gonna feed him everything. He is now up to a level 80. This area is pretty cool, but then there's this area, the hunt world, which is interesting that this actually wasn't a part of the hunt. It looks cooler and like it should be. So we had to do this weird Easter quest to get this badge, but this area is cool. This area, you beat these people. Looks like you can get a badge here too. Here you have a chance of getting a good pet and here you have a chance of getting a best friend nine. I didn't even know that existed. Think I'm gonna actually spend some time here. I'll see you in about two seconds. All right, I'm now at 3.1 million, which means that we are ready to fight this guy right here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Boom. We actually completed it. And we got the Robo Dragon with a best friend eight on it. We'll get rid of this guy. We'll equip this guy. We'll update our team. Now that we have enough strength, I'm going to beat this guy up for like an hour. Get a whole bunch of gems to get a couple of these arms right here. Maybe this might take a little bit. All right, enough of this fighting. I have gotten 820,000 hunt gems, which is enough to buy this, enough to buy this, which has a chance at a best friend eight or nine. And then I have a little bit left over to buy this, but the stock is empty. I'm gonna have to wait till the refill. In the meantime, I got a best friend six. So that wasn't really worth it. What else that doesn't really seem worth it is this Easter egg part. There's a whole bunch of eggs in there. I don't see any pets whatsoever. Ever. There's things I can buy here, but none of them are really that great. And if you look all the way back there, it does say that there's a chocolate kingdom coming Saturday. But like, I don't know if I want to go through all this because this sucks. You sit here, you click this, and then you end up getting 75 coins. And that's it. Something I don't want to waste my time on. I'm going to grab this second arm. We're going to head to the Roman Empire where we can fuse some arms together to give us even crazier arms. But it's still not better than this one. We have done everything possible that we have come here to do. And already, I am now strong enough to beat the receptionist. Sort of. It, it takes a minute. <laughs> it's done. I have beat the first person in this world. And the only thing we can do to beat the last is to sit here for the next, like, 10 hours and just do this over and over again. I'm going to do it so you don't have to. See you in about two seconds. Please help me. All right, it's been a few hours. I am now all the way up to 4.2 octillion strength. We have gotten so much strength already that we are here, which means just a little bit more time and we will take out the molten blaze. We've basically done three months worth of updates in literally 24 hours. Can you catch up? The answer is yes. With a little bit of time and a whole lot of Robux, the only thing left to do is to beat that guy right there. And well, oh, we're so close. We can beat him. We're actually winning it's just it's gonna take a year 
I got an idea. What we need is this star fruit right here that gives me 50% fighting strength. And just like that, caught up in 24 hours. Was it worth it? Yeah, probably not. Especially since Super Rebirth has made a return where I have to literally start over completely. I did get a new arm though. It's at 5,400 strength. Shout out to the guy that helped me and he wanted me to say hi Stefano. And with that, all the work I've done has sent me right back to the beginning. Nothing makes you feel more defeated than all that time just to see a bunch of zeros above your head. It's a enough to make you not want to play this game again. And if you've made it this far, click this next video because you like this one, you'll definitely like that one too.